nine, all ten pins in the pit. That's what Wiseman's been doing all day long. A double for Jaros, and he's cut the lead to 22. Well, as you look at these MF temporary lanes, you think of all the work that went into it by construction people and lighting people and our own ABC people. They're make, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's the wave of the future. I believe uh, we're going to have a, probably 50% of these championship rounds in arena settings in the next couple of years. Right now for Steve Jaros, our tournament leader, this is a huge shot. Mm. Mm. Well, he has that very soft speed, and it, when he gets it around the pocket, he keeps it in play. But in a high-scoring environment, he's prone to leave those half tens. We saw him leave a half ten in the first frame, and here again in the eighth frame, the ball kind of quits a little bit at the pocket, and that's okay when you're trying to keep it in play. But here, you need all strikes. Almost went over the line, stuck in there. Okay, get that one over with. But it's getting late. Danny Wiseman just took the first re-rack of the day up in the eighth frame. Could take a commanding 33-pin lane lead with just three frames left. At six in a row. Can make a grown man cry. That is the first major mistake of the championship round today. Danny Wiseman, right through the heart. Gives it a quimsical look at the approach. What happened? All of a sudden, the match is on. Wiseman lead, which could have been 33, could go down to just five pins right here. All right, partner, here's the setup. Wiseman, okay. a possible 252. Jaros, a possible 247. Wiseman just gets the ball a little wide, cuts right through the heart, doesn't get a break on either the four pin or the six pin. Obviously the seven ten is still standing, and the match has become a game with just two frames left. Chris, a little chink in the armor out there, pal. I'm frustrated at this point. Well, he goes through the nose in the right-hand lane, and then you can see the ball wider than any shot we've seen today from Danny Wiseman. He breaks down the 2-8, leaves the 2-pin, but back-to-back -back frames with marginal shots right as the match is ending. He has opened the door for Steve Jarvis. Remember, Mike Edwards said he was drained after two games. Now, Danny, this is his third of the afternoon, so with the pressure, uh, you do wear out, don't you? Oh, I, very good point, Chris. Uh, Surprisingly, he had those two opens, and he's put Jaros in a position, our tournament leader, that with three strikes and six pins, he will win the championship. No. Well, spares have become a key factor. It, it was all strikes all week long, and now Jaros, who is in the oil, a little heavy. See that ball between the second and third arrows? You keep it in the oil too long, it sails down there. And we know as you bowl longer and longer, sometimes the oil carries towards the back end. You don't get the break you want. And now both players are frustrated by light hits in the ninth frame. Oh. Ah. Wincing along with all of us was... John Evans of our affiliate WJET TV channel 24. Woo. Chris, how many weeks, and this is, I believe, four weeks in a row, we've seen the championship match decided by a missed spare. Here, Jaros in a key ninth frame has chopped the two off the five. Danny Wiseman can take the, the tournament just with a simple mark in the tenth. And how often do you professional teachers say, practice your spares, right? Oh, that's for sure. Right now for Jaros, he can finish with 224. He would force Wiseman to mark that the last two frames rolled by Danny Wiseman weren't the best he's throwing all day long. So the match is up for grabs. Jaros needs this strike to force a mark out of Wiseman.
Well, he'll be in the 220s. Hi. Title at stake, secondary story. They have broken the all-time championship round record today. It's just by how many pins. Finishing strong. 29-year-old from Bolingbrook, Illinois, seeking his third PBA title. Danny Wiseman, who has been shaking the eighth and ninth after near perfection all week long, needs a mark, a strike or a spare, to win his fifth career championship and $39,000 from Splitfire. Right now, the all-time scoring record for five players has been broken. Danny Wiseman will not eclipse Jim Stefanich's all-time record of 815 but he needs this spare to win the tournament. Now just four pins, four pins. Believe me, this man has fought hard to come back from a lot of disappointments. 